Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jennifer and this is Jean and we are going to be doing a much anticipated question and answer video. I posted I was going to take questions about a week ago now and now we're just finally getting to it and Jean has the Instagram questions. I have the YouTube questions, all seven pages of them and we're going to answer as many as we can and then we'll probably do a second part to this video in a few days, maybe next week. There's a lot of questions. Lots of questions. All right, so we're just gonna jump right into the questions. I will go first, or do you wanna go first? I'll go first. Okay, you go first. Uh, from Antalya FB. This is off of Instagram. I watch your videos and always see that TV looks like a live camera or something. Uh, would you tell us what that is? Yes, in fact, uh, right back there behind us. Behind uh, that door. It is, a, um, it is a live camera. It's a CCV closed circuit video. Yes. And um, it's what? of the front door. So, yeah, it's of, of the front door. We, we like to see who comes in and out. Probably because we're nosy. Partly because sometimes we expect packages. It's a little bit of everything. Yeah. It's just you see the mail person, you see you know anybody you see. We just keep it on. If we're not watching something on TV, we just keep it on for like just motion. Yeah, and it's it's interesting to, when the cops come, who they're taking out, and when the paramedics come, who they're taking out, uh, who's coming in, the guests that come in, the strangers that come in, and it can be slightly entertaining. And so that is exactly what that is. So. All right, our first question from YouTube is from Nebulous Queso. I think that's how you say it. Why do you insist on doing keto? You're not entering in, into ketosis unless you're testing yourself to check. The e extra fat is not being used by your body correctly if you're not in ketosis. Well, um, I'm no longer doing keto. Uh, I haven't been in ketosis since last summer i the problem i have is i do it for a couple days i eat low carb and i think i'm going to obtain ketosis i think i'm on the right path and i think that i'm going to stick with it and then i don't and so i never get the chance to get into ketosis i know once i if i would give myself that chance that i can get into ketosis because i was last year if you scroll back through my community tab posts um, there's a picture of my urine test that I posted where I showed the urine test that I was clearly in ketosis and I do want to get into ketosis again. I do want to do keto and be successful at it, but at this moment in time, I don't think that I can commit to that. So I'm just committing to low carb eating right now and I will eventually get back to keto, to ketosis. I don't think you can actually call it ketosis keto if you're not in ketosis correct so we're just gonna go with low carb for now it's an all or nothing right issue so, so yeah low carb yeah so the next question is on instagram from laura zen uh laura zen 56 have you ever tried any other ways to lose weight have you ever tried a meal replacement drink or protein drink do you feel like gene holds you back from weight loss or enables you or could help you more. This is that's me. That's that's all you. Baby. That's all me. Um, have I tried any other kind of diets? I did Weight Watchers about ten years ago, and I lost two hundred pounds. I've tried years and years ago. I tried Slim Fast. Wasn't really successful at it because I was drinking the Slim Fast like milkshakes um, because they tasted good. <laughs> um, most of my time, my time overweight, I've just done nothing because I've given up and I obviously just gained weight. And so I didn't really try anything for years and years and years and years. And most recently I haven't tried anything because I had given up. Um, but long term, I don't give up. Um, I eventually pull myself out of it and want to try, keep moving forward and trying. And I'm slowly getting back there again. Uh, not doing perfectly but i am doing better than i was so as far as gene enabling me do i think that he holds me back he definitely does not hold me back um 
I have been this weight and heavier before Jean was even thought of in my life. Before, when he was just a five years younger, little teeny bopper that he was. Um, so no, he does not hold me back from weight loss. Uh, enabling. A teeny bopper, does that mean that you're gaining weight since my teenage years? Is that, is that what you're saying? Well, you're technically five years younger than me. So when I was 20, you were 15. So yeah, I was gaining weight. started driving. Uh-huh. God, that makes me feel old now when I say that. It's a good thing I look younger than you. No, I'm joking. She does, though. I got, I got onset wrinkles going on. The only reason I look I got, younger is because I have all this fat and it fills in the wrinkles. I got more wrinkles than some 55 and 60 year olds. That's, That's because you're like that. regular size. You're not fat. If you were fat, you'd have collagen that fills in those wrinkles. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Um, as far as enabling, does he enable me? Honestly, yes, he does. I enable him. He enables me. I think a lot of people enable each other in addictions and they don't even realize it. I know for a lot of years, my mom enabled me and she would probably be the first one to tell you that she enabled me. Although back way back then, I had never even heard of the word enabling and I didn't even know what it meant. And it wasn't until my mom passed away that I even realized what enabling was. Um, and it's very easy to do. And is there codependency between us? There is definitely a lot of codependency between us and enabling, but um, it's not his fault that I gain weight. It's not, it's no one's fault but my own that I gain weight. I am an adult, I can make choices for myself and I choose not to make those choices. There comes a time when you have to stop blaming people and calling them enablers and take responsibility for your own actions. If he was not here, I could still get the food as I was doing for the 10 years that I've lived here. So definitely not his fault on that. Very honest, very frank. Mm -hmm. All right, the next one comes from Jem's World and Jem asks, why so many question and answer videos? Because you guys got a hell of a lot of questions. questions. Seven pages on here and two pages on Instagram. And if you don't want to watch, you know, you just don't watch the video. Uh, and people seem to want to know things and we are willing to answer them. That's why there's a lot of question and answers. I find them fun. I like it when my favorite YouTubers or even my least favorite YouTubers answer questions because I want to know about them. Even yeah, if I don't little, like them, I want to know about them. inside their mind and life and circumstances. Right. It's interesting. Next one's for you. Although I don't find us very interesting, but... We are very interesting. Uh, cut. Anyways, so it's on to me. Yeah, it's on to you. So the next question, Instagram again, from Missy Wants Weight Loss. <clears throat> Where do you see yourself in five years? Have you ever had career goals? And what are your goals not related to faith or weight loss? Very nice. Well, in five years, I know this is probably, I don't know, sometimes I go back and forth between like vocalizing where I wanna see myself in five years because I feel like, I honestly feel like I won't get there, I, I'm being honest. Um, I've never achieved any of the goals that I have or the dreams that I've had for myself. So it's very easy to stop dreaming and stop thinking about where you wanna be in five years. But looking realistically and optimistically, I would love to be in either Hawaii or Costa Rica or somewhere like that in a different climate. Somewhere out of the United States would be preferable. Um, and just being peaceful and happy and healthy. That's where I see myself in five years. What about you? Where do you see yourself in five years? Well, what about career goals? Oh, career have goals? Have you ever had career goals? I did. I did have career goals. When I was a teenager, I wanted very much to be a nurse. I took nursing in high school. I was just short. I actually took my classes to become a certified nursing assistant. I just didn't take the test. I had all my certifications except for the actual board and the license. Um, I always thought it was a dream to be a nurse. 
that is not something I would be able to do. Even if I lost tons and tons of weight, I have neuropathy in my feet and being on my feet is just not something that's going to be possible because neuropathy just doesn't turn itself around. Um, a nurse in a different kind of a setting perhaps I could be maybe. Um, and it's never too late to go back to college. You're never too late, it's never too late to learn. Um, but then I wanted to be, most recently, my goals was to be a social worker in a like addiction recovery setting after my uh, previous relationship. My significant other, he passed away of an overdose and it was my desire to always help people with addictions. Maybe I just need to help myself first instead of thinking about other people, but that's my ultimate thing that I want is to help people with addiction because I know well, it's also helpful. good to, it helps with addiction to uh, follow your heart, your passion, to, to be busy, to study, to go to school, to whatever. So it's not like you can't always play that game, you know, it's like, oh, right. well, I gotta help myself first. Well, no, actually, if you're following your passion and you're going to school, you're staying busy, that can actually help kind of counteract uh, that desire to always use and just be bored and useless and purposeless. True, because so. sometimes helping other helping others helps yourself. On yeah. me, uh, where do you see yourself in five years? The same. We have the uh, same goal as far as uh, being out, um, possibly out of the states, uh, in the tropics, somewhere. Uh, we've we've looked up several places. Um, Career-wise, have I ever had any career goals? I, I've had a lot of a lot of. Uh, interests. I've had a lot of interests. I'm a very passionate person and I've had a lot of different types of interests. Anywhere from music, uh, music career, uh, drumming, um, to um, also playing um, and, and putting, c composing music, putting music together, writing music, uh, to architecture, uh, pilot, architecture, pilot, and music. Those are my three, three things as well as real estate. Uh, that I always wanted ever since I was about 14, 15 years old. And I started studying for my pilot, pilot's license years ago, um, and then it fell off. Um, started a lot of things, and it just kind of fell off because, you know, old man marijuana or alcohol, and I just get a little bored or whatever, and I start. You know, I'll have my goals set, I'll start studying, I'll start making my plans or start saving money, and then all of a sudden, as soon as I start getting a little itchy, I want some weed, I just want to get high. Hey man, it seems, you know, it seems, seems, instant it, gratification. it seems fine. Well, I didn't see it like that. I didn't see that it was any kind of instant gratification. Yeah, I just I mean, saw it as I... uh, like a tinge of boredom. I mean, the day could be maybe a little better, uh, you know, but uh, it never worked out with my career goals, to tell you that. Um, it threw me always completely off. As, as soon as I'd start smoking weed, I mean, for the rest of the day, I did nothing. I just wanted to go like out in the woods and walk around or watch TV and do nothing. And then I do that day after day. And I'm like, damn it, I gotta get back on my goals. Just totally thrown off, so. But those were some of my main, main and still are my passions. I'd love to get, still get a pilot's license, still get into real estate, still, do those things. Architecture, eh, not really. It's schooling I'm not interested in anymore, but I'm fascinated by architecture. I'm fascinated by mathematics and the engineering of the such. Um, other than that, f five years in career, um, I'd really still like to get back into music and um, as well as real estate and pilot's license. So that's that's where I see myself five years to cultivate those things more than I ever have in my previous and 40 years of life. this guy is an extremely talented individual. And I'm not just saying that because I love him. Everything he does you is... You blow it way out of proportion. No, I'm not. It's the truth. It's, everything he does, is, he does perfectly. I feel. I mean, maybe I'm a little biased because I love you, but... It, everything he can do everything he can cook he can play music he can draw he can edit videos amazingly he's just he's multi-talented and he doesn't know how talented he is and he doesn't know his own worth thank you sweetie that's very sweet of you to say but it's the truth but it's the truth but it's the truth okay
Next question is on YouTube. And you're gonna cut some of that out because it seems a little, a little, little cringy. With a little because cringy. I don't know how to, you know, I don't know how to take. You're fine. I don't know how to take. You're fine. Whatever. Next question comes from YouTube and it's from Carly P. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's a P. My printer is like not printing out the greatest right now. I think that says P. Carly P, not Carly F. Carly P. She says, do you think you'll finally regret letting food limit you from living a life you actually enjoy when you are on your deathbed? That's kind of morbid and kind of a realistic, hello. Um, um, yeah, go, go on ahead. Okay. Um, I, I don't think I have to wait till I'm on my deathbed to... Uh, regret it I, I already regret it i regret every single day of my life letting food limit my life and limit my happiness limit my potential in life um i'm very well aware of what i have done to myself and the way i have let food control me and dictate my life uh, that's one of the reasons why when you're an addict you keep using because you know the reality of the situation and you f are hopeless you feel hopeless and you just want to numb out those feelings and not think about it and the drug of choice whether it be food alcohol sex drugs spending whatever it numbs out those feelings so i don't have to wait till i'm a deathbed yes i do i do definitely well, it sounds like carly p is not uh has no issues with um addiction no because the reality of it is that uh, us addicts regret on a daily basis what the hell we're doing to ourselves. Okay, it's not like this is some hobby. You know, it's not fun. It's really not fun to destroy your own life. We were created in the womb to live life abundantly, to have more, and to have uh, it in abundance, joy, peace, harmony, uh, success in all its um, various interpretations. And uh, so asking, do you think you'll finally regret? Well, we regret it on a daily damn basis, but that's the insanity behind addiction. And that's the whole shittiest part of it. It really is. And uh, we beat ourselves up on a daily basis in our minds. It's condemnation and it's the itty bitty shitty committee that you have to deal with that actually keeps going back into this, this vicious cycle of self-destruction is that, that when, when you use, then you feel guilty and you beat yourself up and then you do regret and then you have to use again in order to cover that shit up because you feel all that crap and you don't want to feel that crap and you look at how much you've lost as far as dreams are concerned because all of us had dreams when we were eight, five years old, eight, 10 years old, 12, 15 years old. We never wanted to be addicts. No, I don't know any child so, who says, I want yeah, to be an addict when I grow up. on a daily basis. Every single addict does regret it. And no, we don't have to be on our deathbed because hell, we're already killing ourselves uh, doing it. And it, it does suck. So, but either way. Right. I agree with you. You know, yeah, right. Instagram, next question is from Lop3709. Says, hi, Jen. Uh, no question, but no, I'm cheering you on. Well, thank That's you very, very much. That's very sweet of you. <clears throat> Steph Crazy Cat. Steph Crazy Cat. Who made the first move? When did your friendship grow into love? Hmm. Well, first move. Well, that's kind of a complex question because it was over. Um, it was it, it was on a social media platform, and uh, I, I noticed that I think you really kind of were making the first, you know, kind of comments or. Um, certain things so and then I and then I realized that okay yeah well, she, she uh, is interested so then um, you know I started reciprocating at some level and was like was open to uh, to get to know her so you getting shy <laughs> <laughs> um, no I was just trying to think of how like what to say um, when I first like when I first like clicked past his um his little chat room um there's just something that i don't want to cry 
Um, I don't know if it was like the addict in me recognized the other addict or saw the pain and the unhappiness. And I felt like he was a familiar spirit. And like it was someone I already knew. But I, even before I knew him, I felt like it was somebody I already knew. I remember you saying that, yeah. It's very sweet. That's the way I feel about her, too, is we seem to be familiar. Family, you know. That's where the word comes from, but it's very sweet. Here I am crying. She, Turn on the waterworks. And as far as, like, starting to, uh, our friendship growing into love, um, that I, I started feeling like a deeper love toward her, um, a couple of months after we started talking. So it only took like two or three months when I started realizing that I really do care for this girl more than just a friend. What about you? Same. This is it right around there? Yeah. Yeah. So it was like in January when we started talking and it was about March. But our first telephone conversation was extremely awkward because he was extremely drunk and I was extremely shy and the only thing I could do was giggle the entire time. I don't think I said maybe two words. All I did was laugh. And then when I hung up, uh, I was like, uh, "It was cute." Oh my god, what did I just do? I made a fool of myself. I like literally just laughed the entire time. And then for the next couple of days, he tried to call me, and I wouldn't answer the phone because I was too embarrassed to answer the phone because <laughs> I was too shy. No, it was cute. So that's that. All right, let me dry my eyes after that one. Right. Yeah, it's your turn. So this is Instagram. Sonya Glover 04, what's one thing you can't wait to do for the first time once you reach your goal weight? I don't know what my goal weight would be and that would be like years and years from now. But there's one thing I've wanted to do that I have never done in my life and it, it seems pretty sad, but, and I don't know if I'll ever do it. It doesn't look, not looking good right at the moment, but I would love to run or even fast walk a 5K. There you go. Yeah. That would be. I've always kind of wanted to do that too. Yeah. I'm sure that <clears throat> that probably might not be possible in my lifetime, but I think it's that a would. Yeah, it's a desire that, too. That would. That would. I think running or jogging, it would be freeing to feel, to just okay. run, to like feel that release. That's something that I would desire to do. All right, so the next question is off of Instagram from Shani Bells. Question is, what is your favorite holiday? And if you stub your toe, what do you yell? Go. My favorite holiday is Christmas. I cannot wait because we're less than a month away from starting the Christmas festivities. November 1st in our apartment is the start of Christmas. That's when we can listen to Christmas music. We decorate for Christmas music and everything is Christmas. And I love the feel of Christmas. It has nothing to do with presents. It's just the feel, the nostalgia, the feel of Christmas. Yeah, I'd have to concur. Christmas is uh, my favorite, the feel of it, just like what she said. Uh, it just has kind of a warm, exciting kind of feel to it. The decorations make it feel warm. After a while, they make it feel cluttery. Uh, but uh, it's it's comforting and friendly. There's something special about it. Uh, other than that, Fourth of July is fun. So especially if you have fireworks, but or go and watch them. But because However, of COVID, there was no fireworks this year. It was very limited fireworks around here. Yeah. And if you stub your toe, what do you yell? Uh, uh, I, I do curse, so uh, I do so either uh, S-H-I-T or the F word. Oh, I was just going to go ahead and say what I say. Well, go for it. My favorite phrase when something hurts or if I, like, stub something, 
I'm gonna give you guys a, like a 30 second warning. <laughs> if you don't wanna hear cuss words, close your ears. My favorite little phrase is <laughs> I know that's not right. I know that's not right, but that's that's the first thing that goes on in my mouth. Oh, hurts. Yeah. Science does prove that it can help alleviate pain. Anyways, that's I true. read that somewhere. And it does seem to kind of relieve relieve it. All right, next next question. Zip Next. All right, next question is from Sky Grice. And Sky asks, do you binge in secret when Gene is there? I do. Mostly at night when he's asleep. Are you kidding me? Really? Mm, really. I'm like, you didn't know. He's being sarcastic. Well, I do see some things missing sometimes. And I'm like, hmm, interesting. And I try to hide my, the wrappers. My cookies are done. I had some cookies left. And I try to hide the wrappers. Like, I wait till he starts snoring till I know he's in, like, a pattern of deep sleep. And then that's when I like scurry around or either go to the vending machine or scurry around and get my little goodies and get back in bed and watch my YouTube videos while I binge. So that we're on the same page, peeps. Uh, that's not me just bringing in stuff and enabling her no. and disrespecting her diet. That's when we're on the same page of we half, you know, something and then I don't eat my half and then she comes in later that night, eats my half. But so, that's not all the time. No, it's not all the time. I'm just saying that does if happen. I'm, if and I'm, I can tell that there's a, 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 a secret thing going on in the middle of the night. So It's, it's a ghost. The ghosts do it. But when she's doing good and I'm choosing to have my whatever, I'll go put it all the way in the closet. I don't eat it in front of her. Right. Uh, I really do try to be as respectful as possible. He does. Uh, don't. I don't um, have it around her. So, so the next question is from Twister Girl sixty six off of Instagram. Does Jean love being a cat dad? Yes, I do. I definitely do. I love. I can't say I love cats. I respect them. We seem to have an understanding now. However, I love our cats, and um, I think cats are neat. Now I grew up not liking cats because my dad never liked cats, so I had kind of a bias until I found a stray cat. Uh, back when I was 20 years old, and I took a took little kitty cat in and had that cat for years and years till till she passed, and that's when I got past my bias and I started bonding with cats. I'm still trying to get to know the psychology of cats. However, in short, yes, I like being a cat dad. Okay, the next question comes from Abigail Navarro, and Abigail asks. Are you and Jean planning on getting married someday? Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Well, now, however, uh, the marriage thing we're definitely open to. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm open to it, but you know, it's not something I'm going to be like, yes, when I haven't even proposed to her, she's got, it's gotta be a total surprise peeps. It's gotta be a total surprise. You can't just, you can't blow the cover, right? In, in the element of mystery, doesn't that make it more sweet, romantic, and surprising? Yeah, actually, there's a country song that says something about you've been wondering when, you've been wondering how. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I'm just, I'm saying I'm open to it. So, yeah. And I think about saying yes. There, there needs to be a proposal first, which I'm open to. Now, as far as like, what is the next question? Where do you see yourself in 10 years now? Oh, that's too far in the future. The five years, five years, we got that one, 10. 10, I'll be 55. Established in, in the tropics. Yes. Established in life. Uh, business. And a cat hoarder. And a cat hoarder. She wants a three-story house filled with Full cats. Full of cats. Yeah. A five-bedroom house, four of them with cats. Us off in the fifth one. bedroom, full of, half full of cats. <laughs> no. Um, just established and weighing a lot less than I do now. Okay. I'm question. Oh, um, hey. Mom, 
you know, this is not the time to like eat a salad. The next <sighs> question is from Sam the Goat. When are you gonna eat a salad? She eats salad all the time. I can't stop her from eating salad. All right, so the next question is from Brooke off of YouTube. We're done with the Instagram questions. So, I know you've had successful weight loss with what, with WW? Weight Watchers. Weight Watchers in the past. Have you considered giving that diet another try? Um, I have not considered it, but I have had success in the past with it. Uh, it's always something to consider. It was a very, doable diet because it was pretty well balanced so yeah i would consider it in the future my problem is finding something and sticking to it none of the diets that i'm gonna that i will try are gonna work if i don't stick to it and try and put my best into it um keto weight watchers counting calories nothing will work unless you do it it's not the diet that fails you, it's you that fail the diet. It works if you work it. So work it. You're worth it. That's right. Next question is from Happy Nanny. Oh, you got it? Go ahead. It's yours. Okay. The next question is from Caroline Johnson. And Caroline asks, what does your dream life look like? Well, my dream life would be living on the beach, like actually right on the beach in a little hut. No cell phones, no social medias, no outside world interference, just a little hut, my kitty cats, Jean, and the beach. And a big inner tube to float in the ocean. Now, could you though, without the cell phone? Yes, I could. Because I have mentioned that in the future, possibly near future, I would like to get rid of the cell phones. And uh, well, that is you start to get a little squirmy over that one. That's the life that we're living now. This is a dream life. Oh. And if I was near the ocean, I wouldn't need it because I would be so enthralled with the ocean and the surroundings. I would be like in heaven. So if you were to put me up and on the beach, I would be the happiest person. Oh, and since it's a dream life, I would have to have my unlimited supply of fountain coke. Not so much the food I could go. I mean, I love my food, but my fountain coke is my like my big thing. So yeah, beach, cats, Jean, fountain coke, inner tube, ocean. You? Um, successful in both ways of being uh, content and uh, wealthy and uh, a, a philanthropist as well as a, uh, a, a to travel, to travel the world. Our, our two dream lives are like so totally different. I want my Coke and my beach and my cats and you want like these noble things. Tells a lot about us. Oh, I think we have, I, you know, it was just how, how you define it. I think we have the same. Well, it's not that I wouldn't want to travel. I definitely right, would love exactly. to travel. It's not but... like I don't want to be at the beach with a bunch of cats either but <laughs> anyways but seriously though yeah I'd love to be at the beach have a beach front home Condo. property yeah all right the next question comes from the indescribable one and they said 9 30 where's the video i posted the question that to ask us questions on like 929 I guess but I never posted when uh -huh. we're actually gonna publish it you're on top of things mm -hmm. like it so here's the video I like the spunk and that's questions from uh, happy nanny Judy do you think your book club activities will help you refocus your thoughts about binging I mean like help be a distraction personally I need that yeah definitely reading is a distraction and that's one thing that helps not participate in your addiction is a distraction. Definitely. Reading, crocheting, music, art. Okay, our last question comes from Christina Monroe. And Christina asks, will you be getting another new kitten anytime soon after your heartbreaking experience with Cyprus? Yeah, bless his little heart. But no, I don't think that we will be anytime soon. What do you think? Probably not. 
No. All right, those are our questions for today. We have a lot more that we will be doing. I promise we will be doing them again soon. We'll probably be filming another one on Friday or over the weekend, and we'll have another one out next week. Promise. All right, and don't we make promises you can't keep. I can promise this. Your, your peep's gonna hold you accountable. I know, but I'll. Pr I promise this. All right. Next week you will see another. Continue. Well, hello. Another continuation of the questions. We've got lots more questions. All right, guys. Thank you for the questions. And we will see you next time.